something a little bit different today. Uh, we've got a product review, um, and it is going to be taking care of this area here. Um, you may have seen advertised on Facebook, like myself, I did, um, a company called, let's have a look, Speedo Angels. And they manufacture uh, glass, I think they're glass, uh, anti-scratch screen protections, prote screen protectors for uh, modern bike dashboards. So as you can see here, they've sent me uh, an anti-glare one and a clear one which I'm assuming is shiny uh, so I'm gonna try um, the anti-glare one out because I did actually notice the other night um, that I was getting a bit when the Sun was getting low kind of over my over my shoulder back into my eyes so I'm gonna go with this one they do have a very large um, list of models that they cater for uh, you know, but it's more your kind of LCD dash type ones, um, because I'm assuming that these are quite like your phone protectors, uh, phone screen protectors that you get. Um, so we're just going to jump straight in and do it. Uh, full disclosure, I did approach Speedo Angels directly and ask to try these out, and they very kindly have sent me these for free. Um, so yeah, let's let's go ahead and do this. So application instructions on the back, links to the websites and everything. I'm going to put that all in the description as well. So let's just get the actual product out of the packet. Yeah, just as I thought. Package is very much like your Samsung or iPhone um, screen protectors. So let's just consult this again. So we go, clean the dashboard using the enclosed suede cleaning cloth and dust removal sheet, which is the blue rectangular sticker. So these, that there, is, these are both the, the screen protectors. And you get two in a pack. As you can see, pretty much a perfect fit. Now what I've just noticed here, you see I've got that writing upside down that ensures that it's cut the right way because it's not perfectly symmetrical this let's just try with this other one yeah you see that says front but the writing's upside down so just bear that in mind and double check before you uh, peel yours off yep so all we do you get your cloth just give it a good wipe Mine is more scratched than I realised, actually. So I'll just turn the dash on just to get a, see what that looks like with the... I'll just turn the dash on, as you can see there. That's what it looks like with nothing on it. Quite a few marks there. Worse than I thought. So I'm guessing we take this blue sticker like this and we place the sticker like this to remove any kind of dust or anything. I may be doing this totally wrong. I don't know. There is uh, some stuff coming off. But th this is my interpretation of using this blue sticker, a bit like a lint roller. So we've almost got lab conditions on that screen now, and there's a, quite a few serious marks there. So I'm kind of glad that I've got the opportunity to um, do this. Okay, so that's that kind of cleaned off and ready to go. So we're going to take one of our protectors and just to recap look where it says front that's upside down and that is the best orientation for this so just consult these again peel the red sticker 
until an area is exposed large enough to start applying the protector. So red, back. Okay, so you're going to be taking the back, sticking it, get it all stuck down, and then take the front off. Let's get this peeled back, hopefully. This is all becoming clear. Pardon the pun. So I'm just going to place that how I think that should be lined up. I'm going to grab this, which is supplied. And if you can just see what I'm doing, I'm kind of pushing it down as I'm applying it. So it's a lot like wallpapering, which I do for a living, so I should be quite good at this, he says. Okay, and as I'm, I'm just peeling it off, applying it with the card at the same time, I haven't got it lined up perfectly, but that's good That's good enough for me. There's a little bubble there. I'm just gonna see if I can get that out. Yeah, that one's come out. And so is that one there. Now the idea behind this, I'm, I'm, I'm guessing as well, is that because you've got taken this one off, this is protecting any kind of work or pressure that you're putting on um, by applying it. I can feel it's a bit soft. So, that is that stuck on. I'm just going to leave that for 30 seconds or so, just for the adhesive to kind of take. Okay, and now I'm going to remove the one that says front. There we go almost invisible so just a little line there i've kind of placed this a tiny bit too high maybe a millimeter too high but i'm okay with that and if needs be i do have another one there's a two are supplied just a final mark down and now the original scratch that i could see oh my god i'm such a div <laughs> I've put the clear one on and not the the anti glare one on. Never mind. I didn't check, but as you can see, the um, the scratch that was there. I don't know if it will come up on the video, but it, it was kind of across there, like a swirl mark from from washing the bike. I think that's totally gone now. So I'm going to put the ignition on again. And there you go. Perfect. I don't, you know what, I don't even think it's, it's not stopping any of the light coming through. That is, that is perfect. Okay, and so here is the matte uh, anti-glare one. Uh, you might be able to tell straight away, not getting that reflection uh, that you had before. Uh, it kind of looks a bit peculiar to me probably because i'm not used to it but um yeah you can definitely tell that it's not as reflective um so let's turn that on yeah so it's the anti-glare obviously it's not as clear because it has to it has some kind of matte finish to, to it so to stop the the sun reflecting back into your eyes but that's its job. So I'm going to see how I go on with that one. I've got a spare one of each. I, st I still don't think I'll need to turn up the brightness of the, the screen itself. Uh, it, it just looks different. Um, I'm kind of a bit OCD for everything being shiny or, you know, the same. So, um, But that is that. I think I'm going to prefer that, though, to be fair. Um, like I say, I was the sun was behind me coming over my shoulder. I had a tint advisor on, and it was still um, giving me some glare into my eyes. So this this must be the better one to choose. Um, so there you go. These, I'll, I'll put them. I'll put the pictures side by side. That, that it's as simple as that to apply. Um, just make sure that you buy the right one that you want and you apply the one that you want. Um, Application-wise, it is great. 
very simple just just follow the instructions if you've ever put a phone screen protector on or uh, a laptop screen protector it it's exactly the same it's a doddle and it feels very tough it's not rock hard like glass but it's um it's resilient and it's not gonna be brittle and, and break but yeah i'm very happy with this it's um it's so simple to put on uh, it's relatively cheap as well so if you wanted to check these guys out um i've got the package in here look this the website is speedo angelscom and they have a facebook page and a twitter account instagram and a youtube account actually so so i'll stick the link to their channel down there as well in the description so I'll just give you one last chat uh, one last look at what the dashboard looks like now that's great and i mean with mine you can adjust the brightness anyway so if you feel that it's dimmed it too much then um you can just make it brighter and i've also got a video on how to do that so but yeah thanks very much speedo angels um only time will tell as to whether the uh this one that i've put on by accident um suits my needs if not i'm going to swap it uh, for the anti glare one so uh, thanks very much guys thanks for watching um hopefully some more product reviews are coming soon and until next time ride safe and i'll see you all later bye -sies.